G'day folks, Rod Moore from Moore Art School. Um, a few years ago I did a video which was a walkthrough of my studio entitled it How to Set Up Your Artist Studio. It was when I was living in Geelong. Had a tiny little studio at the time, um, but it's proved to be a very popular video. Lots and lots of people have watched it. And I thought, well, now that I've moved to got a bigger studio, it might be time to um, re-record it and show you what I'm doing now, now that more art school's grown and my own painting and so on has also grown. So let's go inside, I'll show you my office first in my studio and I'll walk you through how I've got everything set up, how I record our videos for more art school and so on. So um, that's my pool there, I like to cool off into the day. But uh, yeah, about a year ago we moved uh, from Melbourne up to Queensland. Um, much warmer weather, <laughs> obviously. But uh, the house, you can see we need to buy some more furniture, but the house uh, here had a double garage, which I didn't have down in Geelong. And uh, and now we're gonna use the garage for a studio. But I've also got an office set up here. Just trying to work out how do I swing the camera. I've got no idea. <laughs> so this is my office, right? So I got books and stuff there. This is one of my favorite paintings um, that I did, a little landscape painting there. I um, really quite like that one. So I got all my books and bits and pieces in the bookshelf there. My office is always a mess, right? <laughs> so is my studio. Eh, who cares, you know? It's a lot going on, that's why. Um, I've got all my goals and everything for more art school um, up on the board there. And uh, over here, this is a painting that I did, which is a view that one of my favorite artists, Arthur Stretton, or Stretton, um, he painted that scene back in the uh, or 19 somethings. So uh, yeah, quite like that painting, this one I did. And on the back wall here, another couple of favorites. This one here on the right there, the beach scene is a uh, little beach scene I painted in the style of Robert Hagen, one of my favorite artists. And the one on my left is what I particularly love. Um, a couple of ghost gum trees, it's a Casey Sealy painting. It's one of my absolute favorites. Uh, so Casey's one of my <coughs> favorite artists. Um, anyway, what I want to show you is on the desk here. So this is all part of the operation of more art school. Um, I've got my computers there. I've got video at the moment processing on the computer. Uh, I've got my coffee, so let me have a quick drink of that. Yes, I'm currently recording different videos. Recording videos for both uh, my people going through my more certified instructor program and recording vid training videos for them. And uh, also we're about to launch the Learn to Paint Club. Um, you can see down here on the ground a couple of paintings. Oh, sorry about the shaky video. Uh, maybe you can't. Oh, yeah, look. That's a painting that I did, a recent project. Um, these are going to be part of the Learn to Paint Club. There's another one little vineyard. I know the lighting's probably not good. There's a whole stack of paintings in there, some of which I've got up for sale. Others I haven't. Uh, more there. So this is my little office where a lot of the video recording and editing, well not recording so much, but the editing certainly happens. So let me show you the studio. The garage is through here. Now this literally is a garage, right? It's got the laundry in the back here. So just to show you that it is my garage, right? There's the laundry section there. And over on this side here, we've got what everyone has in their garage, camping gear right? and stuff. Um, so up here, I've got paintings drying off. Okay, the painting there on the, the big one is a uh, painting I did at the John Wilson art class. Always going to art classes whenever I can find the right teachers. Stack of plain air paintings that I've done there. So, you know, even though I teach beginners to paint, I um, still try and do as much painting as I can for myself, my own enjoyment, because I love it, right? Um, what we've got here. So I record the videos in the garage here, I'll show you in a moment. But I've got different lighting, um, lights and things like that. Tripod, so I use, to record the videos, and what I'm recording on here right now is um, my mobile phone, <laughs> basically. Um, the technology is just brilliant for artists. I mean, if you're an artist, right, even if you're an absolute beginner and you're just getting yourself out there, start recording videos, you know, record your process, record your information about your materials and show people videos of you actually doing your paintings and put them up on YouTube and Facebook. There's never been a better time for artists than right now, right? So that's why I've always got my um, tripod here. Now, because I'm tall, right, I'm 6'1", 
I had to get a special tripod, which is quite a tall one. This one here is not as tall as you can see. I um, don't know if I can get them both in the same shot, you know? So that one over there is bigger. I need that bit of height for me. Now, you might not need that, um, but, you know, if you're tall like me, then you might, okay? So this is where I film everything. So if I come back over here, you can see that this is just a big curtain on a frame. You can get these on eBay. You know, normally you'd have a green screen, but I've just got a black curtain there. And then I've got this rather large uh, backboard here, right? So I got that idea from Robert Hagen, um, watching his live stream, great artist, um, good Aussie artist who does a lot of live stream on Facebook. Um, and, you know, every time I saw his videos, I saw that he had a big backboard like that. So I thought that makes a lot of sense, you know, because I'm a messy artist like him, right? Um, and you can see that I clean my brush off. If I've got too much paint, I'll just wipe it on there. It's perfect, you know? And then I, what I've done is I've put these hooks here um, and I can just hang the canvas on the hooks there. And then over here, I've got a bulldog clip and I've got my palette. So when I'm recording the video, so that the camera would normally be there, okay? When I'm recording the videos, people can see how I'm mixing my color. So I only need one camera shot and then I crop in and out to make it look like there's multiple camera angles um, or, you know, camera depths and so on. Um, up on the windowsill, lots of paintings that I've finished or, you know, projects. Um, so yeah, so that's how, that's how I'm filming from, you know, a distance of maybe five meters. Mobile phone on that uh, tripod I showed you, black curtain, big backboard, some hooks on there to, uh, to hook the canvas on, and my palette there so people can see what I'm mixing, color mixes. Um, what I, when I recorded one of our TV shows, Yes You Can Paint, I had three different cameras set up. Um, they were you know, expensive. One of them was a TV quality camera, expensive, right? Um, and I had the palette down you know, below and so it had its own camera. And then trying to edit it all together was just way too hard. So now I shoot with one camera and it's my mobile phone and um, life's heaps better, yeah? Makes, makes a lot more sense. So this is where I paint, got all my brushes there. Things are in permanent state of chaos, right? Um, and this is the desk, you know, I've got paints and uh, all sorts. I've got underneath the desk. Whoop, that's terrible camera work there, Rod. Um, you know, I've got supplies, boards, you name it, in there. Normally, in this messy section, there's another table. Um, so I've, I've, that's just outside because we had a family barbecue. Um, but you can see down there I've got a pile of easels where I run my art classes, so I take all the easels there. And just all my basic supplies. Again, it's in a state of total and utter chaos. <laughs> but it, it seems to work, right? The reason why it works is because I'm productive. I um, can produce lots of paintings. I can produce lots of training uh, projects and, and courses that I sell on YouTube and through our More Art School website. And, um, and lots of training also for people going through our more certified instructor program. So, you know, if you've watched my previous video, how to set up an artist studio, this one's not quite the same, but um, things have evolved a lot from that small little room I used to have. If you only got a small space right now for painting, um, you know, keep faith that things can change. I started more art school, started uh, teaching local art classes, and um, online courses to people all around the world. And then now I help other people start their own art teaching business. And uh, so things have changed. You know, I've been able to afford to move up to Queensland, buy a bigger house, um, double garage where I've now got my studio filming and an office to do all the editing. Um, so, you know, just keep faith that if you keep at it, that things can change and, and turn around for you. Um, if you're interested in learning how to uh, start and run an art teaching business, then I'll put the link underneath this video. And if you want, you know, if you're maybe just wanting to learn how to paint, I'll also put a link under this video to a free course that we have called The More Method of Painting, where I'll show you step by step, even if you're a beginner, how to learn how to paint. So um, I better get back to it and uh, stick another canvas up on the board and uh, do another painting, you know, because that's what we're here for, that's what we love. Anyway, hope this has been of help. Um, you can get some ideas on how to set up your garage or whatever space you've got as a studio. And look, if you don't have a big space, 
go and check out my previous video, how to set up your art studio, which was in literally in a little closet sort of room that I had. Um, it can be done as well. So anyway, happy painting. Talk to you soon. Cheers.